I'm a ginger. I'll tell you about myself. I'm a ginger. Um, it used to be quite tough being ginger. It got a lot better in recent years, right? I read something on the news the other day, right? It's true, right? It's got better, right? I read something on the news that says you're more likely to sleep with a ginger if you like Ed Sheeran. Um, which is a shame, you know, because if you like Ed Sheeran, I don't want to sleep with you. So, not a lot you can do about that. Um, I'd like to talk to you a wee bit about group interviews. Anyone ever done a group interview before? Yeah, they're fucking tough. What, did, what was it for? Who said yeah there? What was it for? Yeah, and did they make you do anything like weird or...? No, right, because it is. It's, 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 often they'll make you do fucking weird stuff and like people say like weird things. Because usually, if you don't know, it's like 30 people turn up for a job and like they interview you all at the same time in front of everyone else, you know? So everyone's like, oh yeah, I love 14-hour days and I don't need a break and... I love when it's busy. See, when somebody says, I love when it's busy, fucking work shy cunts, right? That's a fucking <laughs> guarantee, right? Watch out for them guys, right? But I went for this group interview, right? And this guy comes out and he goes, uh, it was for a restaurant called Five Guys, right? And he goes, uh, here at Five Guys, we don't hire you on your skills. We hire you on your personality. And I thought, that's me fucked in. I've got <laughs> all the personality of a hungover bus driver, right? I was like, this is, it's not going to work, man, right? That idea is about your skills, not about your skills, about your personality is bullshit as well. If you went for a meal tonight, maybe went for a nice pizza or something that got put in front of you, you don't think to yourself, I hope the chef is a bubbly, enthusiastic character, right? Because there's a reason them cunts have a separate entrance and exit, right? You don't want to, you don't want to pass them in the night, right? I fucking, I hate chefs, by the way. I fucking, I hate them. Like, do you know what it is? I've always been front of house and chefs have always been cunts. You know what I mean? And that's kind of how it's always been, you know? It's getting, like, it's bullshit as well. Like, see with these jobs these days. That's another one he said, right? He went like, here at this, uh, uh, here at Five Guys, we meet the national minimum wage. We meet it. I was like, mate, that's a fucking legal requirement. That kind of, <laughs> that goes without saying, man. Like, nonsense. They're all getting taken over by robots as well, man. Like, all the jobs are getting taken over. Even in, like, I, I was in a, uh, in a hospitality, right? I was in a service station the other day, right? And there was, like, a custom machine. And it made every type of hot drink perfectly every time. It had, like, a big LED screen. You could even hear the sound of an Italian cafe in the background. You could hear the manager sexually harassing the staff. I was like... It's over for the little guy. That's all I'm saying. You know, it's done. Um, but I, like, I, I, I never got that job, man, to be honest. Um... I get, I get sacked a lot, I quit a, jo a lot of jobs. I quite enjoy both of those things, you know what I mean? If you tell me I can leave halfway through a shift, that's a massive win for me, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm bored, right? I remember one time, uh, back in that uh, restaurant in Australia, the guy uh, said to me, he was like, uh, Daniel, you're not the happy person that we hired. <laughs> now, this was my first day, so honestly, I don't <laughs> know what I'd done there. And then our time, he sat me down, he went, Daniel, every single chef in this establishment has a problem with you and you alone. He's like, do you see the common denominator? I was like, they're all fucking chefs, aren't they? Just uh, get rid of them. Right, guys, I've been Daniel Connolly. You've been lovely. Thanks a lot for your time.